Welcome back. It is still Afro Sports and now in focus. On the first part, we will be looking at what was a proud moment for the Nigeria Premier Football League's former Super Eagles captain, Akwed Musa, and former Super Eagles defender, Shehu Abdullahi, both turned out for Northern Powerhouse Kano Pillars in the Nigeria Premier Football League over the weekend. Akwed Musa ended up scoring twice in the game and he raised the question of uh, just how nice it would be for some ex-players who are not particularly past their prime, who may uh, probably still fancy playing in the local league. Well, joining me as we start that discussion is uh, the uh, none other than the Kano Pillars coach, the man who has the, um, uh, the honor of playing these two men in his side, Usman Abdullah. Is, uh, Abdullah he is here on Afro Sport 9 for course. Great to have you, coach. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, let's get to it very, very quickly. First and foremost, how much, uh, how huge is it that uh, Canopillers have got two really important former Super Eagles players turning out for them? How has the club taken it in particular and how have the fans reacted? Yeah, uh, everybody is happy because uh, this is something that we, it's all in the process of uh, bringing back the, the pride of Cano Pillars back into the into the league <laughs> because uh, the club have been uh, uh, experiencing a setback uh, for the past two, three, four, five years. And uh, coming into the the league, I think uh, we have only uh, taken the, the team uh, two weeks before the the league. So so we have lost players. There are there are a lot of crises in the team. A lot of news that are negative. And people don't understand what's going on. So I came into the team, I think, two weeks before the league. And uh, we've spoken to, to Ahmed, and because all in the process of uh, rejuvenating the team back. Uh, uh, we At the beginning, we are thinking of him coming in to play for the, for the team, maybe probably in the middle of the season. And then we come back and think uh, maybe we can play him and before the middle of the season. There are a lot of things. It's not uh, immediate. It's even before I've taken the club. Because he met with me and told me, yes, because I'm the one they are going to handle the club, so it would be nice for him to come. And we all helped the team. And then later, Shehu also called me and said, oh, Coach, uh, uh, having you in the team with Pilas now, I think it will be great for me to come down and then help the team. So both of them have spoken, and uh, we think they will put some positive vibes to the league. And uh, that's how it goes. And uh, at the beginning, uh, at the middle of the season, I already kept two jerseys for them. Mm. So, so here they, uh, they came into the, the team and we are still in the process of building the team. We are still in the process of looking how we can stabilize the team uh, and, uh, and they are helping out. Ahmed feature in 90 minutes. I was even surprised for him to play that 90 minutes. But I think she will need a little bit of time to, to come into the team. But he was in the reserve bench at the, at the match. Ahmed could have got a hat trick in this season. It could have been fantastic uh, if not maybe he... Uh, if he lost the penalty in the in the dying minute, he could have uh, gone out with a hat trick. Mm. It was an exceptional moment for the crowd, for the club, for the people of Kano, for the supporters of Kano, and also for the MPFL, because this will add value to the Nigerian uh, uh, league. Mm. For you, though, uh, were you a bit surprised or were you um, a bit um, put back a bit as to the amount of media coverage around the fact that these two players have come because it's not only been reported in local media it's also been reported outside of nigeria yeah because uh, these are players i've been with uh, we've been together with them in the super eagles and i've coached them there and he's also a former player of Kano pillars and uh, having known what Kano needs i'm also an old uh, indigenous of the state so i know the problem of the state what is going on and uh, I, I think uh, they only made up their mind also, I think, 50, 60 percent because I'm the one there. So, so sometimes these players will need coach that they will be comfortable with, they will work with and see that they've, they've come out with a positive uh, uh, result. And that relationship also helped. But as I said, it's not just certain. Uh, before I even take, before I even signed for the club, this process has already been been aligned to see that uh, uh, we've brought uh, something uh, positive to the to the Nigerian league. So it's not something surprising. Wow. They are all players that have have played under me, that have coached them. Most some of them in the national team. Some so so it's something not very surprising for me. And we are we are doing that 
for adding that value to the league. And when this thing is coming, something that we already expect. Mm. All right, so you were part, obviously part of the Super Eagle setup under Jose Pesero. You have seen uh, a couple of local players also get called up to the Super Eagles. Maybe not the amount that most Nigerians would like. But in your view, though, um, for players, the, the downside is for players like Ahmed Musa and Shea have the like to be able to return. Does that cast a bit of, a, um, on a, of an aspersion on the local players that if top players like this can come and still play in the league, does that make the people, the players in the league, maybe less superior to the foreign base stars who are now uh, way past their prime, who are now returning back? Yeah, I think not necessarily the ones that are way past the pride. When you look at this, only Nigeria, our national team, uh, is composed with most almost 99% of foreign players. When you go to maybe the, the North Africans, most of the league, their players come from that league. And I'm happy with this year because most of the big coaches, I wasn't in the league last year. I, I missed out only last year since when I moved back to Nigeria. And uh, this year, you look at all the coaches are back. All the even assistant coaches in the national team, the foreign coaches that are there. Some coaches haven't even played uh, coach in Nigeria and they are buying for the Super Eagles, but they are now back in Nigeria. This is what we want. It's not about the coaches. It's about the the, the progress of the league. We have to live. We have to build this, this league. We have to make this league competitive. We have to raise the standard of the league. And that is... At the end of the day, it will also raise the standard of the of the national team, the senior national team. Mm. I'm waiting to see uh, the composition of the Chan team because uh, the strength of the Chan team tells the strength of your league in Nigeria because yeah. most of the players are playing in Nigeria. And all these players that are coming, for example, now Ahmed Musa is playing in the league here. So, so you won't be surprised to see him in the Chan team. Because he's playing as a local player now. Yeah. Shew, Shew, you can be really surprised to see him in the chanting. Yeah. So this is something, this is a new revolution in Nigeria. Yeah. This is something that we coaches, we have to make an effort. It's not about, and now the standard is getting high. The players are being paid higher. So yeah. more money is being pumped into it. It's a business, it's football. Yeah. So we have to look at ourselves first before we start looking at the foreign. Uh, uh, this. We have to copy, we have to raise our standard right. to the standard of the foreign uh, club so that we can be in line. When right. you look at the truth, is everything is falling. Both the local teams, both the, the under, under teams, under, under 19, under 20, chanting, even the senior team. The standard is getting lower and lower and lower. The question is why? We have to look at solutions. Maybe this is one of the solutions. Mm. Probably. Maybe somebody will come out with another solution. Maybe there are two. We turn our heads together and see how we can help this country. We all belong to this country, and this country should come first. All right. In everything. That the primary subject is Nigeria. Whatever we can think that will imp improve the quality and everything in our own uh, 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 work here. This is the only way we can we can only uh, uh, we can only help the, the country. So I think uh, somebody have to also look at another factor somewhere and then bring it. Join head together, right. and we see that we are happy. Okay, coach. So one final question before I let you go. It wouldn't make any sense to bring the coach of Canopillas on the show and not ask you what is the minimum requirement for Canopillas this year? Turbulent season last time out uh, when they were in the and the Nigeria Premier Football League. Obviously, Caterpillars will be looking to stay in the league, but will you be aiming any higher? And what should fans look out for as, well, as far as Caterpillars is concerned this season? Yeah, we have to look at the reality. I've taken this team, most of the regular players, about 70% of the regular players are out of the team. So 30% remain. And we have to look at, we started with the players that are in the team last year that are not been featuring, they're not regular players. So we look at it, we have to build a team. And I don't even have time to get players somewhere because every player signed at the two weeks before the league. Mm -hmm. So so we know this is a challenge. So at first, we are trying to stabilize the team, even now. From the first match to now, we haven't started with the same team. Every day we have one player or two trying to fix in and look at solutions. Even last match we won 2 0. I've already detected certain problems there. And I have to look at it how I can also fix those problems in the next two matches that is away. You see, so, so we can't have a target now. The target first is to stabilize the team. So we look at how the team goes till halfway of the season. And we look at our position when the team is stabilized halfway. And we come back to the drawing board again and then we sit down. Well, here where we are. Today, 
So what is the target? Now we can put the target. Are we going to compete for the league? Do you need a continental ticket? We want to stabilize the team till next year. Then that will come probably later on. Very, very much for talking to us, Usman Abdullah, coach of Cano Pillars. Thank you very much.